Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a wear test and demo of the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Translucent Powder. So if you're interested in my thoughts, keep on watching. So my liquids and creams have already been applied to my face, so we're just going to go ahead and apply the powder. But I wanted to compare the difference between the original translucent and then this new Ultra Blur blur right here so this is what the unicarton looks like this is what the ultra blur comes in so to differentiate this one it is a light like nude color this is what the component looks like so again it has like this nude top and i got it in the shade translucent medium deep this shade that I have in the original translucent is Honey, so I'm not going to compare them side by side. Sorry, it just wouldn't make sense. Um, and to be honest, you guys, I don't like the original translucent powder that much because I have normal to dry skin and I feel like it is too mattifying. It is too heavy for what I like in a powder. I am very picky when it comes to powders. I don't know if y'all noticed that. But I don't like heavy powders because of my skin type. I feel like it clings to my skin. It just makes me look cakey. And I'm not about that. So we'll see what this looks like because it's supposed to be talc free. So let me tell you the differences in the powder. So in the Ultra Blur you get 0.7 ounces. In the original powder you get one full ounce. So I don't know why they gave us less product. So the Ultra Blur does come in the same three colors that the original Translucent Powder comes in with your original Translucent, Honey, and your Medium Deep. Um, so the Ultra Blur is supposed to be a towel-free, loose setting powder that is infused with hyaluronic acid um, for comfortable up to 16 hour and Ultra Blurring. Okay, so it has silica amino acids, and hyaluronic acid. You know everything has hyaluronic acids nowadays. So it's supposed to help with oil control, minimize pores, fine lines, imperfections, but give zero flashback. Let's go in and see what the original powder does. And the Ultra Blur, I'm sorry if I didn't tell you guys this, it's $44. I didn't even know I paid that much for it. Why would that ever be $44? The fuck? Okay, and then the original Laura Mercier powder is now $40. Didn't it used to be $38? It's now $40. Again, it comes in those three shades, but it also has many sizes. And it's one ounce. So you get more product in the original for cheaper. It's supposed to be a lightweight, easy to apply loose powder. Gives you 16 hour wear, 24 hour oil control. The difference is it has talc, of course. Also vitamin C and E. I did not know that about it. Um, botanical blurring powder and some skin conditioning powder with amino acids. Anyway, we're we going to put this ultra blur on because I am still shocked that this is $44 and I did not realize that. See, this is what happens when you buy too much shit. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. I do have a Laura Mercier Velour Puff that they recommend that you use this product with because it just applies better, to be honest. It kind of does. It really sets your under eye. So let's do one side with the puff and one side with a brush, and we'll see how that looks. Are y'all listening to Beyonce Renaissance? It's lit. It is lit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pop a little bit of this powder in my cap. That's what it looks like in the shade medium deep. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the brush. I am using a rougher number 18. And we're going to pick up a little bit. About that much. Because y'all know I don't like a lot of powder. I'm actually tapping some off. So that's what I have to start with. We're going to do brush side over here. Uh, see already I can see a difference. It doesn't look heavy. Look at that, you guys. Okay. That is smooth. I'm just going to dust on my nose as well as on my T-zone. With the brush. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Mm. 
Normally when I put Laura hair, you can see a little bit of clinging. It does smooth it, don't get me wrong. That powder is smooth, but you can see a little bit of clinging um, with the original translucent. This is Laura too. Um, but yeah, there we go. So let's just go ahead and use the velour puff that I didn't wash. <laughs> now that I think of it, I'm like, oh my God, I need to wash this. But it's whatever, I'll live. All right, so you're supposed to make a little taco. We're gonna rub that powder in the puff. That's the amount of powder I have on, not a lot at all. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the puff and press that in. That's smooth. Ooh. This is the puff side, the brush side. The puff side is definitely a little bit more flat. This has still a glow to it. But, yeah. Mm, yeah, we don't have to go back to puffs, actually. That looks really good. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup, and then we're gonna come back and talk about this. All right, so this is what my makeup is looking like currently. We're focusing on the under eye, so let me just zoom in a little bit more since I have my eye makeup on. Just a reminder, this is the side with brush application. This is side with puff. They're starting to look the same now that I've had my makeup on for a while, applying the eye makeup. So I think it looks really smooth. Like, it's definitely undetectable. You don't really look like you have on powder, which I love. I love that so we're gonna wear it for the remainder of the day just to see exactly how it's gonna keep the makeup on so yeah I'm also gonna try to get a photo with a flash just to make sure it doesn't have any flashback but I do have the medium deep shape so I'm not really concerned with the flashback but we'll do that just in case but yeah I think it looks good so far I love that it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't look cakey so I'm impressed all right, so it's the end of the night. I've had my makeup on for eight hours, and this is what everything is looking like. So this side we use with the brush, this side we use with the powder puff. With our different application tools, I don't think that we really have a difference with how my makeup looks at the end of the day. At the beginning of the day, you could tell that this under eye was a little bit more matte, but now we're just given the same finish. Let me look a little bit closer to what my under eye looked like. <sighs> this looks good. It doesn't really look like I have powder on on my face at all. Now that 16 hour like shine control claim, if you guys are looking for like a really mattifying powder, stick with the original translucent powder. I think you're going to like that. For the shine control aspect a little bit more for somebody like myself who didn't like the original translucent powder because they felt like it was heavy and cakey this powder is it this powder looks so good this is giving my dior a run for its money right now because i feel like i don't have any powder on and my skin just looks soft and just smooth and i'm not mad at it I'm not mad at it at all. It looks really good. I think this powder, this powder, they did good with it. The Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Version. That's all they needed. They just need to reduce that talc. Look at that. This looks really pretty. I love it. I love it a lot. Again, I have the shade Medium Deep. I'm interested in seeing what honey would look like. Would that give me like a brighter under eye? Do I need that? Not necessarily, but this, this is pretty. I like that. Like, look, you guys, my face doesn't look cakey. There's no trace that I had powder on today. Beautiful. I love it. I would recommend it. If you like lightweight powders, if you are somebody that wants some matte, 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 stick with the original and you'll be okay. 
that's it so that's gonna be it for today's video everything will be linked down in the description box down below if you're interested in trying anything out if you're new here hi i'm jordine i would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that helps me out i'll see you guys in the next video bye